I'm not sure who needs to hear this message. But worrying is just like worshiping the problem. Worrying is just like worshiping the devil. Worrying. It don't get you nowhere. You see, worrying does not solve tomorrow of its problems. No, no. It robs today of its strength. Worrying ain't no good for you. Because you see, worrying is just like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it gets you absolutely nowhere. This is what worrying does. It makes you feel like you're doing something. But in reality, nah, you, you staying stagnant. Paralysis by analysis. Meaning you overanalyze a situation so much to where it give you a headache. We can't be doing that no more. See, there's no need to worry about your future when God is already there. There's no need to worry about what you're currently dealing with because it is God who steps in and fights your battles. Remember when uh, when Peter walked on the water? What did Peter tell him before? What did Peter uh, ask Jesus before Peter stepped out and walked on the water? Peter, Peter said, Lord, if it is you, allow me to come, like allow me to step out and walk on the water towards you. And Jesus told him, come on. All it takes is one word from God to bring calm and stillness to your situation. And notice Peter, he was walking on the water. Now watch this, though. He was walking on the water, but after a little while, the Bible says he began to sink. Why is that? Because he took his eyes off of Jesus. See, when Jesus told him to come on, he was following God. He had his eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and finisher of his faith. When he was walking, he was good. But the Bible says when he turned and looked at the storm or the wind and the waves. See, when you take your eyes off of Jesus and you put it on your situation and you immerse yourself with all the details of your situation, you start to you start to magnify the situation and start to magnify instead of magnifying Jesus. So Peter, he took his eyes off of Jesus and he put it on the situation and see the Bible says he began to sink. And maybe you sinking right now. But it's probably because you don't you did so much research on your situation, you burned down, you're overthinking it, you, you but you forgot about God. <laughs> you forgot about who you serve, man. <laughs> Why we be tripping like that, man? <laughs> I know I done did that a lot of times. I'm sitting here worrying, worrying, worrying. Wor oh, I done got a headache. Boy, I'm ready to take a nap. I don't worry so much. And then God is like, hey, just trust me. You got me. I want to read you a scripture. That's cool with you. I appreciate you, man. See, yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Appreciate you, man. You ain't click off the video yet? You still on? Man, you a real one, man. Give me a fist bump right quick. Boom. One more, one more. Let me get one more. Boom. Hey, let's get in that word, though, man. Somebody on the side of me wondering what I'm doing. I'm getting in that word, little homie. You feel me? Hey, I'm in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. I'm about to read it to you, all right? I got you. You got your, your word open? No, you ain't got it. I got you. I'm going to put it on the screen for you. Man, give me another fist bump. Man, your boy got you. I got you, man. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. This is what it say. Then Jesus says, come to me, all you. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Before I get too far into this scripture, let me, let me tell you what happened to Peter on the water. So the Bible says Peter began to sink. But notice, notice, Jesus reached his arm out and pulled him up. See, God will never let you sink. But it is up to you to come to the realization that, man, I keep sinking. I keep sinking. Now, yeah, God going to keep pulling you up. He's going to keep rescuing you. But next time, try not to put your eyes on your situation and magnify God through your storm. Magnify God, magnify God in spite of. So I just wanted to leave you with the good news that he always pull you up, though. <laughs> I got a little sidetrack trying to get to the next scripture, man. You know me. I'll be all over the place sometime. But look, Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Jesus says, come to me, all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? See, come to me. I, we could just stop right there. He said, when you come to me, then you get rest. 
rest for your soul what we want to do we want to go to the world we want to go here we want to go there we want to do this we come to him come to me all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you let me teach you because i am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls see the world can't give you rest for your soul the world will try to give you the drugs the alcohol the peroxide you know what I'm saying? Get, try to get all this silly stuff. But God's saying, look, that ain't gonna that rest ain't gonna that that can be a counterfeit form of rest. The enemy will try to use that to, to make you think you're good for 45 minutes. As soon as you come off that high, as soon as you come off of, of, of that drug or whatever, boom, you're at rock bottom. Scratching and looking for another hit of it. Enemy done got you hooked on this, hooked on that, hooked on that. When God is saying, don't don't play the world's game come to me and get your rest man you feel me take my yoke upon you let me teach you because i am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls what does rest mean rest means freedom from your stress struggle and strain that means stop trying to figure out what only god can work out sometimes man if i'm going through a rough situation <laughs> boy i just get in my word i say lord hey this Hey, it's battle here. It's... And what the what the Lord do? The market that's right where I want you. At. See, you got to be weak enough for God to use you. You got to be weak enough. When you in the gym and you lifting weights, hey man, you need to ask for a spotter, man. That's like one of my pet peeves, man. If I be in the gym and a dude be over there and he be lifting like five plates on each side, and and and, and he can. Ooh, barely get it one time come on man because now i can't enjoy my workout because i'm cautious out my peripheral that i'm gonna have to run over there and pick up your bar you got me maybe that's just me but i'm always looking you know to help so i'm like hey, he can't lift that like but ask somebody for a spot hey ask me for a spot so i could come over and help you and god wants you to ask him for a spot with what you're currently dealing with you trying to lift it yourself and you see where it got you. Let him step in and give you that rest, man. You'll find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and the burden I give you is light. <laughs> man, look. Boy, Jesus. Boy, Jesus. The truth. Boy, Jesus undefeated. See, I, that's who I give all my worries to, man. I don't try to fight. No, man. No. Cause see me I, I end up swinging on somebody <laughs> You know what I'm saying <laughs> I got to give it to Jesus And let the Holy Spirit work that Cause me I been a swung on somebody boy And you know me <laughs> You know what I'm saying <laughs> Hey you know what I mean Give it to God man Cause the enemy's arms Are too short to box with God Let God work man You got me this how this what we be doing with our mind every time we be look giving your mind a workout. No, 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 no. This this what this what God wants you to do. Take him at his word and watch his word gonna break that worry. Ah, oh, that thing hurt my finger. His word gonna break that worry, and now worry ain't no more. Why is that? We done came to him and we received his rest. So receive your rest today. Jesus is undefeated. So since you are in him, you're undefeated as well. Never forget that. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words. I will accept rest in Jesus. Because that's right. You got to accept his rest. Ooh, that's freedom from your stress, struggle, and strain. I ain't worried no more. I ain't worried. My situation's in God's hand, and yours is too. And it's going to be an amazing day. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.